All right, today we're going to be replacing a shaft coupling on an old Tiger Shark jet ski. Uh, this last weekend when we were riding, there was a loud noise and a lot of clacking. It kind of sounded like a rod had let loose, but fortunately it turned out just to be the rubber coupler between the impeller shaft and the engine. So let's get into it. All right, here she is. Going to remove the spark plug boots and the spark plugs, the prop shaft cover, and then this rubber exhaust coupling. And then we got to undo the bolts that hold the motor mounts in place. Actually, the engine plate. We'll leave the motor mounts alone. There's one right there, right there, right there, and the best one to get to, right, right down there. That one's a little difficult, but it can be done. Uh, while I was in there, I found here's the chunks of rubber that were left after it finally broke. Uh, it seems like it was kind of misaligned, so we're also going to go over how to fix that. And so if you look down here, I 3D printed this little tool that's basically just got two edges on each side. And there's three of them in there. One, two, and the third one's on the bottom. In between the three of them, they tell me my alignment as well as give me a spacing back to front. So that was the most challenging part. And basically to do this, there's some little shims. I'm not sure if I can see those. Right here, there's some little shim stacks, and depending on your motor, all of them need slightly different shims in different places, so it's something you kind of just have to shim and check. Um, so, got that all shimmed in place, and I got my, my spacing correct that I wanted, and so now I need to put the coupler in. So to do that, you basically have to undo everything you did, slide the motor back, fit the coupling in, the shims stay in place, uh, you then jockey the motor around until it lines up nicely, and then I'm going to put these alignment pieces back on to make sure I'm left to right, back to front, where I want to be, and we'll go from there. So I ordered a coupler they don't make anymore for the Tiger Shark, as if any of you have tried to replace them probably know. There's old used ones on eBay for about $50. Uh, I ordered this six puck Yamaha one on a whim. It was $12 on eBay. Uh, it came in about five and a half millimeters too thick. So I threw it in the freezer overnight and drilled a hole in the center, bolted it down used a 5 8 inch high-speed steel end mill, cranked it up to like 1500 RPM, and took the 5.5 millimeters off in one pass. Uh, here's my reference block. You can see this is the part that was left that came out of the old jet ski. If I'd thought about it, I would have recorded it, but I didn't think about it until afterwards. But as you can see, the chips actually came off pretty, pretty nicely. Some of them in spirals. Uh, that must have been when I drilled it. And this was from the end mill. So I'm actually pretty happy with the surface finish. Um, I don't know if you can see that really, but it actually is pretty smooth. There's maybe like one little high spot there, but otherwise it came out pretty good.
All right, got it lined up pretty good. When I rotate it around, it looks pretty smooth. That's why we removed the spark plug so we could do this easier. All of them seem to have just a little bit of play. So I think we're shimmed in pretty good and we'll put it back together and start it up and see. I'm gonna start her up and see how she looks. that wraps it up for today. Got the new coupler installed. Hopefully it works out well. We'll find out if the machining down the Yamaha coupler is an acceptable solution to the Tiger Shark because replacing it with an old eBay part that already had unknown hours of use just didn't seem like a very good idea. So we'll find out when I test it out. In the meantime, keep it smoky.